guys, Jeff Disher, real estate broker of the Disher Group. And today it is Friday. And I wanna give you a little bit of uh, something just to think about. Um, it's a quote that uh, I've been kind of running my life off for a long time. I heard it a long time ago and it's in my book. It's on the wall in our office. Um, I've been preaching it and saying it forever. And that quote uh, is, the best way to predict your future is to create it. And what does that mean? First of all, who came up with that? There's two different people. If you Google that quote, uh, that supposedly came up with it. And uh, the first one's Abe Lincoln, Abraham Lincoln. The second one is uh, Peter Drucker. So Peter Drucker is more of a modern day kind of mindset, motivational um, success coach. And then obviously Abe Lincoln was the president from back in the day. So great, uh, regardless of who it came from, great quote and uh, a lot of, something that also talks a lot about that is Dr. Joe Dispenza. So he talks about creating the future um, and the best way to create the future is to, or to predict the future is to create it. And so what does that mean? It means that typically most people live from memories of the past. So we wake up in the morning, we base everything we're gonna do today based off our experiences from the past. And so a lot of times that causes anxiety, stress, uh, and we never can really move forward because we're constantly basing our today off of what we went through in the past. So always looking out for something bad that could happen in the past and bring it into today. So what focus on the future means and predicting the future by creating it means think about what you want versus not what you don't want. Again, it comes back to thinking about your past. We are constantly thinking what I don't want to happen. What I've experienced before in life, I don't want to happen today. We're constantly thinking about what we don't want to happen as opposed to what we want to happen. Thinking about the future, what we want to get versus what we don't want to happen. That's the mind shift change. So to predict your future, the best ways to create it, it means think of the future, envision what you want. Again, I talk about this all the time. This is exactly how I've gotten everything in my life, I promise you. Come from the trailer park to where I'm at now, doing better than most people, I know it, sorry, I'm not trying to brag, I'm just saying that if you wanna better your life and be in a better position, be more successful, create the future. Even if you don't wanna be successful, even if you wanna do something better with your physical, with your fitness, relationships, family, travel, think about what you want, not what you don't want. If you wanna earn more money, don't think about, oh, what if I lose my job, oh my God, I'm barely making this, or God, I wish, think about what would happen if you did have it. So think about the future. If I was making this, how would that feel? What would my job look like? What would my future look like? If I was in the best shape of my life, what would that look like? Not, uh, on my past, I've always looked like this. Think about what you possibly could look like in the future. Once you start setting goals and envisioning that future and placing yourself there and using as many sensories as you can, smell, feel, touch, vision, hear, use all of them in that vision. And I promise you, the, the more you can do that and the clearer it becomes, the faster it will move towards you. So that's my two cents for the day. That's how I've created most of the stuff in my life is I focused on the future, what I do want, I envision it, I picture myself and I put myself in that scene and eventually it happens. It's divine timing. Sometimes it takes a month, a day, a year, 10 years, seven years, 20 years, you never know. But eventually once I put my mind to something and I create that vision and I start moving and gravitating towards it, it happens. So try it, start small, just start small. Think about what you want to do, how you want to look. If you want to look better, start by waking in the morning. Think about how you want to look and using that to catapult you to go to the gym or eat better for the day. So quick thing. Hope you may, uh, learned something. If you want to get a hold of me or you have any more questions, you guys know where to find me. Jeff Disher on Facebook. I sell real estate on Instagram and Jeff Disher YouTube channel. Be sure to subscribe and get some more information. All right, guys. Till next time. See you soon.